Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. A lot of developers, programmers, coders, they love their terminal. They don't like to leave their terminal because they've got custom key bindings. They've got custom workflow setup that can maximize their programming productivity. But if you are a data scientist, you might be using Jupyter Notebooks a lot more than your terminal. Even though you wish to use, to use your terminal a lot, you might be spending Jupyter Notebook a lot because that gives you the flexibility to iterate uh, or prototype your data science or data analysis workflow. But if you are given a choice, I, I guess that you would love to use your terminal with Jupyter Notebook inside it. And that is what NBTerm is all about. NBTerm is a latest Python package that has ported the rich web experience of Jupyter Notebook and uh, making it available within your terminal. Thanks to David Brokart who has made it um, available for us as an open source library. So let's go ahead and get started and see how to use NBTerm and then use Jupyter Notebook within our terminal. So the first step is we have to pip install the library pip 3 install nb term let me do it quiet so i have enabled screencast uh, key casting so that you can actually see the shortcuts that i'm using let's clear it up and now that we have installed nb term so let us quickly see what is first minimum requirement for us to use nb term so the minimum requirement for us to use nbterm is that you need to have a kernel installed. Kernel is like this backend, um, you know, engine or server that runs a particular language um, on uh, Jupyter Notebook. So if, if you imagine Jupyter Notebook as a front end, IPy kernel is the Python kernel that helps you run Python code. There is an R kernel, there is a C++ kernel. So all these kernels help you install, uh, run a particular language on Jupyter Notebook. So because uh, you need those kernels for Jupyter Notebook. You also need those kernels to use NBTerm on your terminal. So make sure for the language that you want to use NBTerm for, you have got the kernel installed already. So in my case, I've already got IPy kernel installed. So I can just uh, get started uh, simply. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the repository where I've got a lot of Python codes. So uh, on Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open an existing code. So the thing is you can create a new notebook or you can also create existing or you can open existing notebook and then start using it. So I'm going to in the case open existing notebook. So type NB term space uh, your existing notebook. So in my case, I'm going to open uh, IPNB untitled three. So one of the notebook that I want to open it when I open it. You can see this is the interface that I've got. So you can see how the interface looks like. It looks exactly like how um, your typical Jupyter notebook would look. Let me slightly move this so that, okay. Uh, let me zoom it out a little bit. I think now it's visible. Yep. Uh, yeah. So it has a very IPythonish in, uh, interface if you have used IPython, but there are certain advantages that you have got uh, over um, IPython. So um, the key bindings are uh, slightly, you know, um, slightly different, but I think the developer is trying to make it as same as uh, the web interface. So what I can do here is I can press enter. So you can see here, what are the key bindings? I can press enter to enter inside a cell or I can press escape to exit the cell. So I can, if I want to get into edit mode, let me just open this. Um, let me go to the third cell. And uh, uh, if I want to write something, so right now you can see that I am not in edit mode. I've escaped. Um, I have exited the edit mode. Let me even switch on the key binding. Yeah. Um, yeah. You can see that I have not to. If I have to enter the edit mode two plus two, and uh, I've got two plus two myself. So the way I run it is I press Control E that would have to escape and then press control E and you can see that it has done two plus two is equal to four. Now the next step is if I want a new cell, I can escape it and add a new cell below. When I add a new cell below, I can now add new Python code. I can either add a new Python code or let's say code or I can have markdown. You know, that is the advantage of um, uh, notebook, right? Jupyter notebook or the concept of notebook itself. 
you do not just have code but you also have markdown so if i want to add markdown i have to exit the edit mode and then um, press m for markdown so if i press m so now you can see that it has gone into markdown mode so i can say it um, enter it hash 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 uh, i can say uh, this this is test and then i can say double hash or oh, by one little coder and then i can say exit and you can see that it has said okay your like, this is a test i want little coder and now if i want another uh, cell below i can create click b and then create a cell below it and then i can start writing new python code and if i do not want any existing cell i can just go and then say um, yeah you when item is asking you do you want a scroll enable we can do that or we can just simply say uh, i don't want this cell so i can press x and then the cell is deleted i don't want this cell press x the cell is deleted so now i have got one cell with code another cell with a markdown so the next thing that i want to just show you is how you can actually you know write a simple python code so i'm going to say okay i'm entering it for i uh, in range of 1 to 10 i'm going to say uh, print i let's see if it works i'm going to exit the cell control uh, sorry control e exit the cell control e okay it says this the syntax is invalid but again uh, the point is that it works so it works very well it just says the syntax is invalid uh, if you if you're wondering um if i should fix it probably okay <laughs> this has made a mess out of my screen uh, my apologies you can just simply say hello world and then i can say close it multiply it by 10 and then close it exit it control e and then you can see hello world everywhere so now i want to edit it press enter go here whatever you want to edit it edit it exit it and then again um press control uh, sorry control e control e and then you have hello world so these are the key bindings that uh, you should ideally follow like uh, basically you know whatever you want but what if you want to run all the cells below a particular cell so there is a key binding for that as well so now you can see that i'm um, i'm going to the cell uh, above it so let me go to this cell okay what's happening Mm, I'm just trying to go up. Okay, it's. Be I'm sorry. It's because my cursor was not there. Okay, so I have gone to the previous cell, and let us say now I want to run everything that is below. So if I want to run everything below, so you can see if I want to clear all the outputs, all I have to do is I have to press L. Uh, that will clear the cell output, the current cell output. So I can go here and then say L. So the cell output is cleared so if i want to run everything that is below the current cell so i can say Control r and then now it's going to run everything below the current cell so the current cell and it's a uh, um, it runs the cell and then it also goes to the next one uh, like uh, the the next element and if you want to save the notebook all you have to do is you have to do Control s and then that would save the notebook if you want to quit or exit uh, you have to simply say Control q and there are other options as well like if you want to move a particular cell you can like uh, copy a cell um, like uh, for example if i want to move the cell i have to say control and go up um, control and go up. okay i have a different um, setting on my machine so maybe it's not allowing me to do but if you do not have that configured you can uh, you can actually uh, do that okay so these are the key bindings and this is how you use it it's quite simple um, it's it's actually quite simple for you to use all you have to do is uh, go like if you want to sell above click a sell above sell above and then if you want it to be marked on say marked on uh, this uh, enter it this is an awesome product and double star maybe like I want it like this uh, and then uh, exit it so you have 
the actual text written so this this library nb term actually uses a combination of multiple uh, libraries like for example rich rich uh, helps um, you create python programs or uh, clis that gives you really like a rich colorful output so it uses these kind of programs and it makes sure that uh, you get almost the same uh, web uh, type experience within your terminal and i i am very sure that the development uh, developer community especially the the data science developer community is really really happy about it so once again uh, thanks to uh, david for uh, making this making this kind of a uh, project and i think this this project has been uh, sponsored by quantstack as well so thanks to quantstack for um, for uh, you know supporting such an open source initiative and uh, what we just saw is um, how you use an existing notebook but you can also create a new notebook and then you know you can do the same thing that i just did um maybe initially uh, the key bindings might be a slight um, difficulty for you to try it out uh, but i think uh, this is an awesome opportunity especially um, if you ask me personally opening a jupyter notebook has always been um, something that is uh, you know that i've found uh, quite uh, not very easy um, because you know sometimes i start jupyter notebook uh, from my terminal then go inside and then uh, try to open it but this uh, just helps me uh, open jupyter notebook from anywhere wherever i have got so control q we quit it that's it uh, you just exited nb term so there are a couple of other options you can uh, fire up an nb term without um, you can fire up an nb term without um, without a kernel as well so uh, like when you do nb term help you would see the options that are available for you like no kernel if you want to just run a notebook you can run a notebook you can um, uh, you can also you know save uh, the notebook in a particular path you can also do uh, embed the notebook um, um, like you can run a notebook and in async mode um, um, using async io um, like shifting the cells there are a lot of things that you can do there is good potential definitely check it out i hope this helps you in uh, writing better code or at least you know the code um, in the way that you like rather than you know just having to context switch between a browser and terminal whenever you are working on let's say iterating or prototyping your machine learning models and i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise uh, stay safe uh, take care of yourself